Greetings, happy Wednesday, everyone. It's April 22nd, and we're 10 days past Easter Sunday. I'm sitting here in the entryway of the church in this little uh, spot where there's a couple of chairs where sometimes after worship services, uh, people can sit here, uh, wait if they're getting a ride, then the ride can pull up in front of the church and they can see that that's there. And um, it's a waiting space. There's probably many waiting spaces that I could have chosen to film a little devotional uh, video in. Maybe you've got uh, a waiting space at your doctor's office or at the dentist or somewhere where you stand in line lately. There's been a lot of standing in line. And uh, so I'm thinking about waiting spaces right now. We're sort of between seasons. And uh, maybe you've been waiting around uh, these days as we think about this present season of um, COVID-19 and the, the restrictions that we're all experiencing and wondering, when is this all going to end? We're kind of all waiting for that collectively. Uh, when are all of these restrictions going to be lifted? And uh, uh, I've been starting to hear that people are referring to the post-COVID-19 situation. What is it going to be like when this is all done? Uh, I wonder what you think it's going to be like when this is all done. Maybe there will be a dramatic change, a day when we are um, uh, uh, that we hear an announcement where uh, all of a sudden uh, we can go back to normal. Or maybe it'll be a gradual uh, shift of attitudes and uh, some freedoms will come and then in time others and, and uh, maybe it won't ever be completely back to it, the way it was, back to the way we remember it being uh, before this uh, um, situation all uh, took over our lives. Anyways, I'm thinking about waiting, I'm thinking about being in between seasons because um, Jesus' disciples had a period of, of waiting between seasons in between Easter Sunday and when Jesus was taken away from them, ascended up into heaven and was taken out of their sight, hidden from their sight. Uh, there was 40 days, more than a month of uh, in between seasons. Uh, during that time, it says that Jesus was showing himself to various people and, and we have a few of those uh, instances in the Gospels, um, but not all of them. And uh, that's quite a long time to be sort of waiting. I wonder about the disciples. How did they do with that waiting time? And uh, I was reading in the first part of the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 1, that um, during that time, the disciples kind of were waiting for what was Jesus going to do next? And then even right the day that he uh, was taken from them and hidden from their sight, he ascended into heaven. Um, one of them said, are you at this time going to um, restore the kingdom to Israel? And, and was that what they were waiting for? They weren't really sure what it was, all was going to look like. Uh, it, it strikes me as uh, important to know that God knows when this season will be done, and he knows what we're waiting for. Uh, he also knows that during this time we need patience and we need reminders that he's with us. Uh, the disciples probably had a hard time envisioning the day of Pentecost. That was what they were waiting for. Jesus had promised that the Holy Spirit would come after he departed, and 50 days after Easter uh, the Spirit came, and then they were on their way into the new season of Pentecost and preaching and everything else that unfolds in the book of Acts. There's a new season ahead of us, too, even though we can't see it all that clearly, even though that uh, right now it might be kind of cloudy and, and nebulous about what's, what's coming next. We're between seasons, but we know that God is with us in this time. We know that He has a plan, that He knows what He's doing, and that's a great comfort to me because it means that I don't have to have a plan. Uh, I mean, at least not the plan, the master plan. I need, I need to trust that God is in control. He sees the season that we're about to uh, enter into. And during this waiting time, then, we can be investing our energy and time into um, times of listening prayer, uh, immersing ourselves in what we're reading, uh, being reminded that uh, God is with us and he's taking care of us, uh, really, in a sense, being led through this period of waiting um, I'm not all that good at waiting, but uh, I'm learning, learning to do that. And we can also be taking care of each other during this time and giving each other phone calls and words of encouragement. And so I, I want to encourage you and thank you for doing that, those of you who are already um, spending your time and energy doing that. So may God guide us through this season between the seasons and um, give us a sense of taking care of each other while we wait for the world to return to some semblance of normal. And may God bless you this week. Uh, guide you through the rest of the week and uh, fill you with his joy in time. We'll talk to you again soon.